Hi guys, Chris here and you're watching Here We Are Running. Welcome back for another episode in my training series for my first 50 mile ultra happening in May, hopefully. Fingers crossed on the North Downs way. And yeah, we're in the third week of training now, guys. And you join me on Saturday morning. It's early, it's cold. It's very cold this morning, uh, but it is dry. It's not raining anymore. Thank goodness for that. And we're doing a long run today. It's gonna to be part pavement right now, and then it's gonna be part trail later on along the North Downs way. And during this run, we are gonna talk about balance. Balance between the different types of runs that I'm doing as part of this training block. Balance between indoor running and outdoor running and the work-life run balance as well. And then after the run today, we will go through all of the training that I've been doing during this week. But first, let's get on with the run. This is some climb up to the top of Box Hill. This is the steep way up, guys. Okay, 11K in an hour and 11 minutes to the top of Box Hill and now we head home along the North Downs Way. Okay, let's talk about balance. Because I think in any training block, the balance is important. I'm gonna start with work, life, run balance, okay? Now, many of you will probably already know that I do a desk job. Uh, I do regular, regular-ish hours, I guess. And at, as of the moment, I work from home in the Run Hub. And of course, the kids are at home as well at the moment during the daytime, doing the homeschooling. But luckily for me, I'm outside of the actual house, so I can just focus on work during work hours and it just gives me a bit more flexibility of how I can then fit the runs in. So I tend to fit most of my runs in at the moment during the working week in at either lunchtime, if it's an outdoor run, or the evening, if it's an indoor run. And then we've got the balance of whether I run indoors or outdoors. Obviously on my long runs, I'm trying to get outdoors. I'm trying to get onto the trails. I'm trying to build some elevation into these runs and at least one of these runs each weekend. And we, as we go through the training block, we're trying to build up the distance as well. But at least half of my runs are indoors on the treadmill, just because I've got that flexibility and it's allowing me to build up the volume each week. And as you've seen over the last few weeks, 50 miles or 80K plus is now becoming the norm. And that is because I've got the treadmill and I've got that flexibility 
to actually do at least half in terms of number of runs on the treadmill even though distance wise there'll be more volume done outdoors purely and simply because the long run's going to be outdoors This is the main reason I chose pavements to get to Box Hill and run back on the trails because after last week's run in the mud I didn't fancy 25k more running in the mud this week again it's a balance and the other balance is the types of runs that I'm doing so the vast majority of my running is easy pace and by that I mean zone one zone two heart rate with a bit of speed or a bit of elevation or something to raise the heartbeat at least twice a week um, but the amount of distance that I'm doing at that raised heartbeat at the moment is only a small percentage of the overall distance that I'm running. So that is how I'm trying to balance things at the moment. Let me know how your running's going and how you're sort of balancing things out through your training. And if it's going well, if it's not going so well, if you've got any tips to share, drop a comment below, let everyone know, and uh, we'll carry on with this run. I've said it before, you don't run up this one. Oh, I haven't done this one for a while. <laughs> Feeling it a bit today. Right, let's get home. Let's get back into the run hub and I'll give you a rundown of all of my training during this week. Back in the run hub and a rundown of the entire week of training. But first, a quick reminder, if you are someone that is taking part in the North Downs Way 50 in May, do check the description below for a link to a Strava club that we've set up where we can all support each other during our training. Okay, let's start on Tuesday. Tuesday was another double run day. So went out at lunchtime for a 9K easy pace run outside. I forgot to put my heart rate monitor on, so there's no heart rate for that particular run but did it at a pace of five minutes and 59 seconds per kilometer. Then in the evening, I did the Tour de Zwift. I think it was stage four, and that was a 15K run. Um, Wednesday, another Zwift run. This time I was about building elevation. So stuck my treadmill on the highest incline that it will go, which is 12%, and then I ran 4.5 kilometers and during the course of that 4.5 kilometers I achieved 545 meters of elevation so made up a, a good proportion of the elevation that we got in this week just on that four and a half k Zwift run on to Thursday now Thursday I wanted to introduce a little bit of speed into the week because I don't want all my runners to be kind of easy pace low heart rate uh, so Thursday was raise the heart rate, raise the, get the legs moving quicker and see what I could do really. So I set myself a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I decided I would see if I could run my first sub 20 minute 5k on a treadmill. So I've done this in outside in the real world, but I wanted to see whether I could do it on, on the treadmill now with the current level of fitness that I have. So um, entered a swift race that takes place on a Thursday evening 
and live streamed it as well. So thanks for everyone that joined in and supported me during that live stream. And fit, delighted to finish it with a time of 19 minutes and 52 seconds. So uh, achieved the sub 20 there. On to Friday, uh, went out for a lunchtime run, 12 kilometers. I managed to get in a 12 kilometer run, which I was quite impressed with. Uh, pace of five minutes, 46 per kilometer. Heart rate of 126 beats per minute. So nice and easy for that lunchtime run. Then on to Saturday and the run that you've just seen turned out to be 25 kilometers at a average pace of seven minutes per kilometer and 515 meters of elevation gain, uh, largely going up Box Hill and then um, up to Collie Hill and on to Rygate Hill. So that just leaves Sunday. Uh, and that's when I'm filming this today. So Sunday, I decided to enter a group run. It was Ryan Downey's group meetup and it was taking place in the Surrey Hills. So <laughs> the run that I did in the real world on Saturday, I then did a kind of version of it on Zwift in, uh, in the virtual world on Sunday. And it, if, if anyone's done the Surrey Hills kind of course on Zwift, you'll know what I mean here. It's a bit of a funny one because it starts in London and you, you start in London, you go into a tube station in London and you come out the other side of the tube station and all of a sudden you're in the Surrey Hills. <laughs> anyway, um, this run was all about elevation. So Ryan is the leader of the run. He uh, puts out on the screen what speed we should be doing and what incline we should set the treadmill to. Uh, I've done this a few other weeks and uh, this one wasn't as tough to be honest. It, the incline levels didn't go up as high as they have in uh, previous runs. It was an 8k run but I had tagged on a couple of k to get it to 10k and achieved an elevation gain there of 273 meters. So guys that is the entire week of running. Uh, we, we did 52, hang on, we did 7 no, 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 no. We did 82 kilometers in total. Uh, so similar to previous weeks, we, which is around 50 miles. And the, but the, the key thing was the elevation gain across the hot course of the whole week was higher. So I think 1500 meters of elevation gain up on the screen now, what that is in feet. So, um, pleased again with the way the training's gone. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks again for everyone supporting me through this training block. Please do give the video a like if you have enjoyed it. And if you're new around here, well, why not consider subscribing for regular running content. But for now, guys, goodbye.